或者人参给你换，我的都用光了。Come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Beautiful threads, smooth as a camel's buttered bottom. A special for you. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi. I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. <clears throat> Tardiness is not something the treasurer appreciates. I repeat, the treasurer... The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bottles go missing. With the hard in withholding our supplies, production has been slow, Yasai Dachi. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The... Uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Halifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her.
Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat al-Mal. They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the east. The auction should be starting soon. Marhaban! Assalamu alaikum! Yasas! Nihao! Hello! 
It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone hmm? like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning. The treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. Sold to the man over there. Kindly collect your item from my associate after the auction. Now, moving on. And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. I have to get the hairpin from that man. Why would the treasurer Did want it her? so badly? Her calmness, her grace. If only I could speak to her. Not a chance. I hear only members of the merchant guild can arrange an audience in her chambers. Found him. Maybe now if I to find quietly out borrow the hairpin. Her this beautiful hairpin is mine. But poor fools, they stood no chance against me. The look on the treasurer's face. Ah, to have the chance to see the. With his gift. <laughs> Intricate ah, and beautiful indeed. Again. But this is nothing like is these it? ancient objects the Order is seeking. I must confront Ning. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer. If she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry.
This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for you? Trouble with customers? No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karg. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. I do not care what you have to do. Burn them or murder their dogs if you have to. Understood, Sayyid. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow, at all cost. Why not today? Yeah. You lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. Ivory coins brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. I 
Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. This is of inferior make. I wonder if you could be an expert trade here. Save the priceless, I swear yeah. it. Yeah. Treasurer, Ning is only you. So, deeds are bad. But get the plague out of my sight. Perhaps the dogs in the soup can use it for this year. The standards are too high. One has to be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking about the treasurer inappropriately. You may enter. You are a new face. My name is Basim. New to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, show it to me. Exquisite. Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone.
didn't he? Again? <sighs> I should return to the view. Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes. Wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? It... Uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet.
Well met. Nice to see you. Can you make this better? Be my guest. Is that it? Thank you for sharing your gifts. So long. Such a massive dig. What are they up to? Guide me, Enkidu. Impressive work, my friend. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. The heat makes me ill. I want to vomit. Oof, whatever you do... Lend me your eyes.
Nothing important here. I should keep looking. Let us get a wider view. Mercenaries guarding the site. They must have found something important. Are you the leader of this battle-scarred band of war dogs? You must get paid well. Not as much as we want to get paid, I'll tell you that. Care to do a little work for me? Maybe. What's this job then? See those fancy Khalifa's men over there? I might need a hand. Hmm. Let's work something out. Spoken like a true mercenary. Here is a token of my appreciation. Hey, it's honest work.
standing guard beneath the sweltering sun. Hmm? Praise the genius hey, of the household. This chest has Ahmed's signature seal on it. Must be his. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a Dr. Hassan. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? We must all link together somehow. Hey, you. Hold them The Bimaristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed.
Lieutenant. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. The symbol of the Order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them. This letter proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the Order. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No, that's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. Ah! Ah! 
A broken window could be a way in. I'll find you yet. Hey, no, what's going on? Trouble comes our way. We'll be ready. Huh? <laughs> to use them soon. my message only the mechanism itself needs more support. the doctor is dead now to find Ahmad and solve this bloody mystery Basim what happened here where were you Ahmad I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to- And you asked no questions. I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim, because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands. Isn't it, Basim? I 
I do not care for these diagrams. A bloody mess. Head bandages. But this is a hospital after all. I should return to the Bureau.